guys, this is Kevin. Thanks for joining me once again here at Midwest Woodcraft. Today we're going to be covering another one of the six basic Cub Scout knots. We're going to be going over the clove hitch. Now the clove hitch is just that. It is a hitch. There is a bit of a difference. A knot is typically used to join two ends of the same piece of cordage together. And a hitch is normally used to join the end of a piece of cordage to a fixed point such as a post or a uh, tent stake or something like that. So there's a lot of information out there on that. You can kind of research terminology and, and all of that. But we're going to get set up here real quick. Stay with us and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so for your clove hitch, you're going to bring your cordage over the top of your hitching point or your post. Bring it back around the top of your cordage. Make that X. And you're going to bring your tag here through the bottom of the X. Straighten everything up, cinch it up, and you have your clove hitch. What's nice about that is you can kind of adjust, you can kind of loosen it up, feed it through there, and you can kind of adjust your running end here one way or the other. Also fly the clove hitch over an upright post such as this. What you do there is you have your tag end here, you go up a ways, you give yourself plenty to work with, and you bring that tag end up underneath, making your loop. You can see this goes underneath here. Then you're going to bring this back around, go kind of the opposite way, make another loop to where it goes over the top, down here closer to the tag end. Then you fold that over. You can see that gives you your clove hitch. So you just slide that over your post, you tighten it down, and that gives you your clove hitch. 